Katie Munn here with Monday Musings. It's a super, super windy Monday. I am here in Portland, Maine, and today we're going to be talking about expectations. I apologize if the video is a little wonky. My selfie camera microphone is not working. This is why I didn't do a Monday Musings yesterday. So right now I'm holding this and I have no idea how it's aligned. <laughs> so hopefully it works. So today on Monday Musings, we are talking about expectations. Expectations are something that are super, super important and having them and being able to flow with them, both of those aspects are very important. So expectations in some regard are very healthy. A healthy expectation might be, you know, you and your sweetheart are figuring out who's going to pick up your child at school the next day and your sweetheart says, oh, I'll pick them up. You expect that your sweetheart is going to get your little one. So, you know, your roommate says, I'm going to pay the rent and you give them your rent money. You expect that then they're going to pay the rent, right? So those are healthy expectations based on history, based on actions, based on um, kind of responsibility, if you will. Expectations be can become a little bit unhealthy a lot of the times in romantic relationships and business relationships and relationships of all, all beings, basically. And the way the expectations become a little unhealthy is we expect somebody to do something, show up a certain way, do a certain action, and then when they don't do that, we may feel like they don't care. We may feel like they're dropping the ball. We may feel frustrated or angry. So for example, you know, you're at home, you are making a recipe, you're missing the key ingredient. So you ask your sweetheart, hey, can you get the ingredient on your way home? And so they arrive and they're like, hey, and you're like, oh great, do you have the blah, blah, blah? And they're like, oh, I forgot to step at the store. So here you are expecting them to have the ingredient. You're in the middle of making your dish, you know, and they don't have it. And then you're like, uh, I'm feeling really angry. I'm feeling really frustrated. And that expectation that they're going to do what you ask them to do isn't met. And then that brings on a whole plethora of emotions. And my sort of um, advice in this situation is to go with the flow. Right, we can be so hard on our sweethearts, we can be so hard on our family members, on our friends, when in actuality, we're just humans, we're trying to do the best that we can, we're trying to navigate life, you know, and sometimes we drop the ball. And expectations can be a little toxic if we expect somebody to show up a certain way based on gender roles, based on the way our parents showed up for us, or based on the way we were raised. And so you have this expectation, well, my partner cleans the house because my mom cleaned the house, you know? And then when that partner doesn't do it, you're kind of angry and you're always frustrated and they're not meeting my expectations. And the thing is about expectations, a lot of the times we need to do a really deep, dark excavation and self inventory. So we are all born as um, unique individuals. So some of us, you know, when we're babies, we hear our parents say like, you are such a calm baby, or you're such a firecracker, or you slept really well, or you're really cranky. And we all sort of have this essence and this energy within us, our life force. But then as we grow, our needs, our wants, our expectations are shaped by our parents, our life experiences, uh, experiences with our peers without, throughout school. So all of these things shape how we expect other individuals to show up for us. And when they don't show up for us in that way, we get upset, right? So sometimes our expectations are based on a need that we received when we were younger, or maybe didn't receive when we were younger. And then we're expecting that because we never got it, or we're expecting that because we always got it. So expectations really are important in sort of navigating. And sometimes there's something that's like a deal breaker. You're like, I expect my sweetheart to do X, Y, or Z. I accept, expect my boss or my work atmosphere to be X, Y, or Z. And it may be a deal breaker. Like without this, I, I can't do this. And if that is the case, then that's wonderful because you know what your expectations are, you know the standard you're living for, and you're not compromising. But if your expectations aren't met in terms of housework or making dinner or you know any of these little trivial daily things, 
really the key is to go with the flow. Really the key is to understand that we're humans, that we are trying to work together. And if you do have a partner, if you do have somebody that is willing to work with you, that is such an amazing thing. And you should really, really honor that. So I ask you to take a honest self inventory, what your expectations are in life within um, romantic relationships, friendships, work relationships, and see if you're able to flow within that, within your expectations. Because I found within myself, when I was younger, I always used to create a story in my head about events. So it would be like a long weekend, I'm hanging out with my friends, and I would be like, okay, so this is gonna happen, and then this is gonna happen, and then this, and oh, it's gonna be so fun, and I would kinda expect certain events to unfold. And when they didn't unfold, I would become disappointed because I had this expectation of what was gonna happen, and then it didn't happen, and then got, I got upset. So sort of going with the flow, sort of being open and receptive to whatever comes your way is such a beautiful way to navigate life. Uh, Monday afternoon, I apologize if this video is a little weird. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you next week and hopefully get my uh, selfie camera fixed. Okay, love you, bye.